Welcome everyone to another episode of Reese's Roundup. I am your host, the Lightning Kid himself, and today First and foremost, I just want to make an apology to the Cleveland Cavaliers. I did not think they stood a chance against the Raptors, but my god did the Raptors just absolutely crumble. They couldn't play any defense. They, ah, oh, oh man, I don't know what happened to the Raptors, but they just, DeRozan didn't show up. Kyle Lowry was making stupid mistakes. I, uh, LeBron was just absolutely tearing them a new one. Oh my goodness. Well, now that that's taken care of, I also want to issue an apology to the Celtics because I thought the Sixers would take care of them, but man, the Celtics are, are really proving their worth right now. Who has the most worth between the two? Well, I'm going to come at this from two different standpoints. One as a realist, and one as somebody who doesn't want to see the Cavs in the finals for like the 19th time in a row. Let's, let's talk about how the Celtics have a chance of winning first. Okay, the Celtics can win if and only if they shut down LeBron James. Obviously, that's going to be very, very complicated because, you know, he's the greatest player on the planet. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, Marcus Morris is more than likely going to guard LeBron James. And for good reason, because in the two games that they played against each other, um, Marcus Morris held LeBron James to 24 total points on 8 of 16 shooting, and um, yeah, 24 total points in two games. That's not horrible, but I mean, if you average that out, that's 12 points per game. So that's those are some really good numbers with for Marcus Morris. You also have Marcus Smart, um, who can play def I mean, he's known as a defender. So, you got Morris and Smart switching off against LeBron James. I think that'll, that'll really, um, that'll really get into LeBron's head. So, if they do that, they can shut down LeBron. Then, you know, the other role players aren't going to pop off as much because, you know, LeBron makes other players around him better, but if he can't make himself better than the other guys are just going to crumble as well if that makes sense so if they shut down LeBron boom they they take that they take that away they'll be straight they also need to overpower their defense also needs to overpower the Cavaliers offense the Cavs are scorching right now they absolutely tore apart the Raptors um just based off their offense alone because the Cavs can't play any defense so I mean they had J.R. Smith um popping off they had Kevin Love popping off they even had Kyle Korver popping off so if those guys if the if the Celtics make sure that those guys don't pop off they'll be straight I mean the Celtics finished with the number one defense in the regular season so I mean that accounts for something and that was most in part without Kyrie Irving and Kyrie's not known to not a known defender anyway so that, I'm sure that didn't make a difference um so I just feel like if they if their defense plays better than the Cavaliers offense they'll be straight as well they also have to stay in attack mode um, Jalen Brown he's got to pop off I mean he he's been averaging 17 points per game almost 50 percent shooting from the field 42 percent from the th from the three-point line those are some good numbers fantastic numbers so if he can pop off if Jason Tatum can pop off he's been averaging 19 points per game five rebounds shooting 46 percent from the field He's got to pop off to Terry Rozier, Marcus Smart, and uh, Al Horford. They've been playing really well as well. So I think I think if all those are put into um, are put into play, I'm gonna give it to the Celtics in seven. Now that's 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 from a from a from a bias perspective. The Cavs don't really have to do much. This is me coming at it from a realist perspective. I mean. All they have to really focus on is getting their offense going early. If they can just keep the momentum from every time they score, they're going to be in business. Um, their three-point shooting also has to be there because, I mean, I mean, they took off in Toronto with their three-point shooting. Kyle Korver and J.R. Smith alone shot 63% from the three-point line against Toronto, and that's really good. So if their three-point is going, there's no stopping them. 
Um, and everybody besides LeBron has to step up. I mean, that's obvious because if LeBron is getting shut down by Smart and Morris, then, uh, you know, the other guys can't rely on LeBron getting them going. They have to get going themselves. And Kevin Love has been doing a good job at that in, in the playoffs. I mean, he doesn't really show up in the play. I mean, he does show up in the playoffs. It's the finals that he doesn't show up. So if Kevin Love keeps it, keeps it going, they'll be fine. So the bias me says Celtics in seven. The... Analyst, the realist in me, says Cavs in six. Now we got the Rockets versus the Warriors next. Um, this is this is also two different perspectives, but I I say the same thing from both sides. Um, so the way the Rockets can win, I really don't want to see the Warriors in the finals, guys. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So the, the and I hate the Rockets. I hate both teams so equal, so so equal, but. If I, if I had to pick between the two, I'm picking the Rockets just because Chris Paul, you know, he deserves it more than anybody else. So, if the Rock, the Rockets can advance if and only if they shut down Kevin Durant. Now, I know you guys are thinking, oh, but what about Steph Curry? Steph Curry is going to be Steph Curry. The reason why the Warriors have been doing so well is because of Kevin Durant. I mean, hell, if he wasn't in the finals last season, the Cavs would have won the finals. But Kevin Durant absolutely demolished the Cavaliers all by himself so I just feel like if you take away Kevin Durant I mean they still have Klay Thompson Steph Curry Draymond Green. those guys are going to go off but it's something about KD that's really just blowing them away from everybody else that's that's really that's really bothering me so I feel if you shut down KD you can do your job Who's going to shut him down? Probably Trevor Ariza. That's all they have. That's pretty much their only defender besides Chris Paul, but CP3 needs to guard Steph Curry anyway, so... I mean, CP3 isn't going to lock down KD anyway. Let's be serious here. They also need to play big man basketball. Now, what I mean by this, let me, let me just throw the Grizzlies into perspective. The way the Grizzlies were so dominant against the Warriors in prior seasons was because of Zach Randolph and Marc Gasol. The, the Warriors like to play small ball and Draymond Green alone is not going to... Draymond Green is, is going to get... was always getting bullied by Zach Randolph. So, um, if the Warriors are gonna keep bringing the small ball, I say use Clint Capella as an enforcer. I just keep going to Clint Capella because cause they're not going to have anybody to answer for him. I mean, Capella, the, the Rockets are 25-2 and two when Clint Capella drops 15 or more points. That's it. 25-2. and two. If you get Capella to drop 15 points, that's, all, that's almost always a guaranteed win. So, I say go to Capella, make sure that he dominates the interior, and you're good. You know, and make sure they don't drive on the Warriors don't drive on you either. If you um, if you just if you keep them at the three point line, they're gonna miss eventually, hopefully. <laughs> so that's that's all I can say there. And speaking of three points, they the the Rockets have to win the three point contest as well. Um, James Harden, Eric Gordon, Trevor Ariza, Chris Paul, Ryan Anderson, P.J. Tucker, and I think it's I think it's Gerald Green. Um, made 100 threes in the regular season. That's insane. They finished with the the most three pointers made in NBA history by over 100 last season. Like I was saying, if the Rockets can win the three point battle, they win the series. So the biased me says Rockets in seven. Now the way the Warriors win is if they play defense, and that's what they're really good for. I think the Warriors are really underrated with their defense because they have Klay Thompson, they have Kevin Durant, and they have Draymond Green who can really defend well. Um, if they shut down Harden, I think they can do... I think they'll play solid because Harden is really... Harden is like the LeBron James of the team, you know? He really pieces together the Rockets. So if they shut him down, make, sure, make him um, force turnovers, you know, play stupid, I think... I think the the Warriors can um can pull through. They also have to have the bench scoring. I outside of Eric Gordon, I'm not really I'm not really certain about like who can pop off with the Rockets. So, and I know that the Warriors have a really solid bench with 
uh, Nick Young, Andre Iguodala, and Sean Livingston. Um, so if the if the Warriors can get their bench going, I I mean I don't see how the Rockets can stop them because they'll need to keep their starters in. Their starters will get tired. Then when the Warriors starters come in, then you know. The Rockets starters will be tied, and they'll... Ah, man, I don't know. It's going to be an interesting series to watch for sure, but I think I think the Rockets have too much to... Um, they have too much to strategize against with the Warriors than the Warriors have to strategize with the Rockets, if that makes sense. So, the realist in me... I, I still think the Rockets can pull through in in seven but I, I I think I think the Warriors might might come out on top in seven I don't know I, I I just think the Rockets have what it takes but it's all about implementing it and the Rockets haven't been good in the in the playoffs in a while ever <laughs> so I mean outside of how long ago you know so uh, man I don't know I think this is gonna be the greatest round three in NBA history. I'm obviously wrong, but this is going to be a really interesting series and I'll be I'll keep my eye on both. So, let me know what you guys think. Who's going to come out in this series? Uh let me know in the comment section below. Follow me on Twitter at Reese's Roundup to give me some ideas for next week's video and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.